My name is Cheryl and um, I'm coming to our garden here so that I can uh, pick some of the herbs that will be going into the uh, pot of curry that I'll be making. Um, so let's start. These are, these are mint leaves. We'll pick some mint and this will be going into the sambal which is an accompaniment that we eat with the curry. We'll get some dania. Another name for it is? Uh, coriander. I'm just taking all the, the top leaves here. Let's go this side as well. It's starting to rain. And we need quite a considerable amount of dania in order to put into the food. I think that should be enough. There go. Cheryl, can you give us a short history behind this iconic cookbook, please? I received uh, this cookbook as a gift from my husband shortly after we were married and that's more than 26 years. Okay. How often do you use this cookbook? I use it quite frequently but because I've been using it for so long I use it a lot for referencing just to double check that, that I'm following the recipe correctly. So you've got most of the recipes in your head? Correct. Okay. Would you say that most kitchens in your community have this cookbook. Uh, yes, I would say um, people of my generation, I think lots of them have this cookbook. Uh, or people that are younger might have something very similar. Okay. Does the Cape Malay cookbook cover most of the dishes served in the coloured community? Uh, yes, it covers all the most of the popular ones, the snoor snook, the um, moktaat, the kusistas, um, the pickle fish, all of those are covered. And samosas, pies and all of that is covered very extensively in the cookbook. Okay. Given the di diverse background of the coloured community, can you see this diversity reflected in our cooking? Uh, yes, um, the, di the dishes that are, um, the dishes that are mentioned in the book and the recipes that are printed in that book uh, reflects a lot of the diversity of the people that came from the East, the cooking methods, the spices um, that they used in there. And lastly, Cheryl. What is your family's favorite dish from this book? Tomato brie. And what, what is that for people that do not know? It is a stew uh, made with um, mutton and lots of tomato. And it's a firm favorite with my children. The, the grandparents, Mothelma and Molola, they each made it their own, their own way. And the children never wanted to say whose tomato breedy was the best. So that's a, a staple. That's a staple. We at least have one breedy during the course of a week. Okay. All right, Cheryl, thank you for, for your time. It's my pleasure.